Hi, I've been interviewing people. Yes, sir. Uh, and, uh, I don't think I'm going to interview you. I wouldn't. No, really. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What, when you were here, what you're doing now with your life. I went to Tarkio College from the fall of 69 through the spring of 72. And then you deserted us, too, much well, like I, Mr. Schwartz. I, you know, they were happy I left. I nearly flunked out, but they didn't have the balls to pull the trigger on that. So I made my <laughs> last payment and transferred over to Southern Illinois University where... You know, after begging my way in and attending uh, two quarters of probation and including beginning in summer school, um, I finally made it through with the degree in education. Education. Did you actually teach? No, I didn't. I was. I went to work for the athletic department there as an assistant in the sports information office. You washed jocks? Jock shop sure. yeah. Instead of desiring <laughs> to be one of those people who went out through their education degree and went student teaching and didn't have jobs available for them, I oh, I, job market wasn't that bad back then. Well, for a gym teacher, it was. Well, um, yeah, maybe. maybe. You know, so I ended up going to work in the athletic department. Uh, left Southern Illinois in August of 1974. Went to the University of Illinois Chicago Circle as sports information director for two and a half years. Then I went to Wichita, Kansas for the Shockers as assistant. You were not a jock at Tarkio, though, as I recall. <laughs> Baseball. Baseball, baseball. Baseball, really? Yeah, Tarkio had a baseball team? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they were called good. the Owls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the there's a mascot that strikes terror when they ter take the field. <laughs> baseball. Man, I never. It was not the Heinhold Hog. Not only did I never see a baseball game, I never heard of them even having a baseball game. Oh, well, me and Alan played on the team. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You did too? That's where a snake first heard about tenderloin. Was at the Any more questions? Uh, no, that was like several too many. When when you got into baseball, I think we lost our audience at home. <laughs> Buck stops here with this one total nonsense. And then, of course, Lawrence Well thinks it's a new form of gospel, and so it's all, all fucked up. So when I met with Sam Graves, the state representative, or U.S. representatives, and asked him to come and welcome people to Tarkia, which... That's, you know, we have the Christmas tree, now we got to throw ornaments at it, right? Because we're going to get a congressman in here, it'd be cool. So, so he says, so he looks at me, this is dead serious, I'm standing out in an airplane hangar, and talking to him with Mary Ann, he comes driving up, and he goes, all right, I said, well, first of all, when I try to get through to him, I got a note online, I got a note back from his office, and that said, we cannot, we will not answer this email because, you know, when I put the return address and stuff, it was Kansas, and I'm not in his jurisdiction, so they don't care. And so I, I resent it, but then I changed the zip code, and they got their attention. So then I'm driving around one day, and I get the call from his assistant. He says, okay, well, blah, 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 he kind of wants to know what you want him to do. And I said, okay, this is cool. So anyway, that's the big build-up, right? Yeah. So I meet him at the hangar. He says, I said, and Ray, he's a nice guy. You know, I don't know if you like him. He's a nice guy. He's a nice dude. He's got a big smile. All he does is smile. He's a nice guy. You know? Typical politician. Yeah, no, but he's nice, you know, and whatever. Whether you like him or not, doesn't matter. But Republican, but, you know, it can be a problem for some people. Anyway, uh, but Brower, you know, would have liked it. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for holding back so far. So anyway, he says, well, I just kind of want to, I'm going to be there. He says, I kind of want to have an idea. What is it you would like me to say? I said, well, can I be honest with you? I mean, he's never seen me before. Mary answered there. So I go, just like, a, well, can I be honest with you? He goes, well, yeah. I go, I think that on behalf of the United States government, you need to issue an apology for the ridicule and attention that you gave Brewer and Shipley wrongly through the Nixon administration. And if we can figure out just a nice way to say that in about 30 seconds, that would be great. <laughs> and, and I'm dead serious. I'm stoned. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I go, he okay. thought you were serious. Yeah, he thought I was dead serious. I said, I'm just kidding, but it'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know. They would love it. They'd be going out. But I know you can't do that. And I said, you can bring that Obama guy, too, but I didn't vote for him. If you want. Did he run away right after he was off the stage? 
Well, he just came into town. I don't know if he had other plans, but he just came into town to do the deal. He probably went right back to the farm. I looked at him and I said, man, you're really clean up nice. Because the first time I saw him, he had his, all his airplane oily working on the airplane clothes. You know, he's a neat guy. He's a, he's a what talking What did you see him? I, exactly? Yeah. I can, it's in my calendar, but it oh, was... Oh, because you know, he's working on his airplane and what? An hour time. It was a work. <laughs> an hour time. It was a week ago. Yeah. During the week. It was a week ago Tuesday. Yeah, figures. See that? Yeah, at 6 a.m. You should have said At 6 a.m. because working? at 7.20 he was on the plane to go back to Washington. Yeah, why haven't you passed the budget yet? Maybe he's on break. <laughs> yeah, well, I would ask in that chair. I saw it blew up. I mean, you know, I don't know who these assholes are that those people voted in there, but, you know. Why haven't you raised the debt better, ceiling? It's a hell of a lot better than the prior Just, Just years. get rid of that whole debt ceiling. Come on. we got Democrats that want to spend. Yeah. I don't know. Debt's a funny thing. How can we afford any more wars if we don't raise that debt ceiling? You know, debt's a funny thing. If you have money, you won't have it. Then there's no conversation on a national level. That's not a country I want to be a part of. <laughs> You're gonna post that. Get that out of there. That'll be funny as hell. Stick it out there.